It's been several months since I purchased my first Leona Airflow menstrual cup. I had been able to use it for a few different periods, and now I feel like I can share my complete experience with you. I haven't done an unboxing or informational video about these cups yet. I will as soon as I have a little bit of free time. But I have received questions about this cup and I don't want to make you wait any longer. So if you want to hear my experience with the Leona Airflow Menstrual Cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. First of all, to refresh your memory, the Leona Airflow Cup has these two channels embedded into the silicone that travel from just about right under the rim down to the stem. The end that is closer to the rim have several tiny dots. And at the base of the cup, inside of the stem, there is like a little valve. The concept behind this cup is when you pinch the base, it allows airflow to go through these chambers and helps to release the cup if it created a suction. Because the valve is actually on the base of the cup and not on the stem, but within the stem, you can still trim the stem if you need to. Both sizes of the Leona menstrual cups are on the longer side, so these would probably be more comfortable for someone with a medium to high cervix. I'll go ahead and leave the measurements of both of the cups in the description box below, since I haven't uploaded the unboxing and informational video yet. I did get to use the small size a couple of times, but I mostly stuck with the large Leona cup. Inserting the Leona cup was easy for me. I did use a simple C-fold. The cup popped open without any coaxing, and I inserted a finger to maneuver it around my cervix. I didn't trim the stem, and for the most part, it was comfortable when I wore it. If I you know, sashayed a little bit or sat down a certain way, I could feel the stem, but that could have been easily fixed by trimming it. My period was never really super heavy the times that I wore the Leona cup, so I can't really tell you how the capacity is. When I did use the Leona cup, I was able to empty it in the morning and then once at night before I went to bed. Throughout the day, I was comfortable. I didn't experience any burping from the uh, micro air holes, the channel, or the valve. And again, if I would have trimmed the stem, I probably would have been a little bit more comfortable than I already was. The first couple of times that I went to remove the Leona cup, I totally forgot about the airflow valve. And so I just removed it how I normally would with any other menstrual cup. But I did notice that I didn't have a really strong suction or seal with my cup, so I was easily able to pinch the base and remove it without any problem. The times that I removed the Leona cup after that, I did try to use that valve feature. I did have a little bit of trouble because my nails were longer when I was using this and I couldn't tell if I was pinching in the correct area. My nails kind of made me pinch above the valve and would bottom out instead of pinching at the very base of the cup. I had a lot of fumbling, but I did eventually work that out. And then I wasn't sure if I was supposed to hold the valve open or if I just do a series of pinches to release that suction and then be able to remove the cup. So I did both several times, trying to make the cup release a, a very slight seal that I had, but it seemed like every time I would gently start to move my cup down, it created more of a suction um, than when it was being used regularly. So personally, for me, uh, using this, it didn't create that strong suction. It was just easier for me to use this cup and remove it like I regularly would by either pinching the base and gently tugging on the cup or inserting a finger, caving in the body slightly, and then removing it. Cleaning this cup did require a little bit more care, as blood did seep into the micro dots and down into the channels. I did have to rinse it several times before the blood was completely clear out of the channels. 
And if I had used soap, it created all these teeny tiny sud bubbles that even took more time to clear out than just blood. I don't boil my cups on a regular basis, but I feel like I might feel more comfortable if I boil the Leona more often. I was a little worried about having the water still stuck inside. Menstrual cups need a good airflow so that the moisture can evaporate and doesn't give bacteria another place to grow. Since there's no airflow going through these channels really easily, it did take a little bit longer for those to dry. The Leona airflow didn't really work as intended for me. But please don't let my experience rule out this cup if you have problems with a very strong seal. It might very well be beneficial for you. We're all different and we'll all have different experiences, even with the same cup. Well, that's all I have for now about the Leona Airflow. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Also, leave me a comment down below if you think that the Leona Airflow would work for you or if you have concerns about those channels like I did. Until I see you next time, take care.